Welcome, and thank you for joining me for this short demonstration of how easy it is to use the iTero Element Intraoral Scanner to create a digital impression. In this video, I will demonstrate the simple scanning technique for a single unit crown and the recommended process for evaluating the digital model. Today, I will demonstrate a single unit crown for tooth number 13. Therefore, I will include the anatomy from the most posterior tooth to the cuspid in the prepared quadrant. There are four recommended scan segments in the sequence for a single unit crown case. The opposing arch, the prep tooth, the prepped arch, and the bite. It's important that I only scan the anatomy I want included in the model. The first segment is the opposing arch. In my practice, I typically have the assistant scan the opposing arch while the anesthesia is taking effect. The iTero Element Scanner allows me to scan in a continuous motion. Using the guidance hints to remind me of the recommended scanning protocol, I'll begin by scanning the occlusal of the opposing arch segment. To begin, I'll place the tip of the wand flat on the occlusal surface of the molar. Once I confirm my starting location in the viewfinder, I'll press and release either of the side buttons to begin scanning. It's important that I find my starting location on the tooth before I press the side button. The blue scrolling bar in the segment selection box lets me know that scanning is active. Once I've scanned the desired area of the occlusal, I'll roll to the lingual. After I've captured the necessary lingual anatomy, I'll roll to the buckle to complete the scan of the opposing arch. Now that we've completed scanning the opposing arch segment, we are ready to scan the prep and the prepped arch. To move to the prep segment, I will either tap the arrow key on the segment indicator box or use the touchpad on the wand. Using these methods will ensure that I capture all the required scanning segments. To activate the touchpad, I will press and release both wand side buttons simultaneously, then use a steady firm swiping motion from left to right in order to move to the next segment. To go back to a previous segment, I will swipe from right to left. To scan the prep tooth, I'll ensure that the tooth is dry and the margin is free of any cord or tissue. I then center the tooth within the viewfinder crosshairs. I will begin scanning with an occlusal view of the prep to visualize the margin. Roll from the lingual to the buckle of the prep. Return to the occlusal view and then roll from the distal to the mesial of the prep. Then, I immediately review and fill any significant voids. Once the model starts building, I will confirm that the green dot is located on the prep tooth. If it's not, then I will move it. Once I have captured the desired area of the prep tooth, I will follow the guidance hints to complete scanning of the prep arch. Next. I will scan the occlusal surface for the desired area and then roll to the lingual to scan the lingual surfaces. I will then roll to the buckle to scan the buccal surfaces. Next, I will capture the adjacent contacts. There are two ways to easily capture these contact surfaces. The first option is to lay the wand tip flat on the occlusal surface and angle the wand tip to capture the desired area. Alternatively, I can approach the prep from the side and rotate the wand tip to capture the desired area. The final segment is the bite. I will press and release both wand side buttons simultaneously and swipe on the touchpad from left to right to move to the bite segment. It's recommended to confirm the bite prior to beginning scanning. When I'm ready to begin scanning, I'll have the patient open, use the wand to retract the cheek, and have the patient close in centric occlusion. I'll be sure that I'm scanning in an area that has already been captured. Here, I'll bring the wand tip gently against the teeth, observing the occlusion in the viewfinder. Moving forward in a wave-like motion, I'll capture three to four teeth. Once I have completed all the required segments, I'll tap on the view icon at the top of the touchscreen display to view my digital model in high resolution. Once the case is processed, 
I will evaluate the model to ensure that it's accurate and complete. It's necessary to check the opposing arch, the prep tooth, the prepped arch and contacts, and the bite. In the opposing arch, I will quickly check to make sure that I have enough occlusal anatomy. In the prepped arch, I will ensure I have captured complete anatomy of the adjacent contacts. In the prep area, I will view the model in color to ensure that there is no margin impingement. To view the prep scans in high resolution without any artifacts from the arch segment, I will tap on the prep tooth icon. When I check the margin, it's important that I rotate the model to visualize the entire 360 of the margin line. This will allow me to see that the margin is accurate and to see if there is any overlapping tissue or other obstructions of the margin. Please refer to the Corrective Scenarios video for a more detailed demonstration of how to effectively use the eraser tool to fix the margin line. In the bite segment, I will check the occlusal clearance by tapping on the occlusal clearance icon. A color map appears to show me how much occlusal reduction is present. The color map coordinates with the legend. If there isn't enough clearance for the restoration, I will use the eraser tool to adjust the occlusion. Please refer to the Corrective Scenarios video for a detailed demonstration. When I'm satisfied with the digital model, I will send the case. For more detailed instructions, please refer to the Corrective Scenarios and Invisalign scanning videos. Thank you for joining me today for this demonstration of how easy it is to use the Itero Element Intraoral Scanner for my restorative cases. Congratulations and good scanning!